Jaipur, known as the pink city of India, is the largest city in the state of Rajasthan. Under the rule of Sawai Ram Singh, Jaipur was painted pink, traditionally a color associated with hospitality, for the grand welcome of Edward, Prince of Wales. The pink color is retained even today, and residents have to preserve it. After visiting Delhi, we left for Jaipur. The traffic was very busy, a lot of honking, and everything is mixed up. In some parts, the cars even come our way as wrong way drivers. We stopped halfway and a large herd of sacred cows passed by, accompanied by a man with a stick and a big beautiful turban. In the evening we saw a Rajasthani woman performing Bavai, a traditional dance carrying six water jugs on her head. With our guide Jeet, we visited the Spice and Vegetable Market. See the colorful, chaotic streets of the city, ebb and flow, with an intoxicating concoction of old and new. Step aside for buses and motorcycles, avoid pedestrians and ignore bicycle rickshaws looking for tourists. Men and women sat on the street selling fruit and vegetables. Havelis in Jaipur are one of the most dominant aspects of its heritage. These are also known as traditional courtyard mansions, used as residential units. Most old Havelis can be found in the walled city area. These buildings are a reflection of the grandeur of yesteryear. Many such buildings have now been converted into hotels. Rhesus macaque monkeys are easy to spot in the walled city area of Jaipur, since they tend to live around human settlements. We saw some real Indian manual labor. Jeet had the range for the cycle rickshaw and we rode through the Sanganeri gate in the city wall and back. We westerners don't really think it's appropriate for someone to pedal so hard for our fun. But the bike or rickshaw industry provides immediate employment for unskilled migrants. The 
The seats are quite small, but the view of the city and the experience of the heavy traffic will make up for the inconvenience. After the bazaar we went to a company where everything was handmade. Printed fabric, woven carpets, clothing and wooden objects for the home. Master block. Second block. After printing, oxidize the colors under the sunlight takes 48 hours. And how he put the knots, you can see slowly. You see the slowly here. First trench, second behind, third cross, put it down and cut. Various techniques were shown to us. and eventually carpets that we could buy. Credit cards, no problem. 890,000 knots. 26 colors in this carpet here, which is, he's going to show you now. The Amber Fort is close to Jaipur city. There are two ways to get to the top of the fort, by elephant or by jeep. We took a jeep because we had heard about how badly the elephants are treated and abused. Some elephants still had paint drawings on their trunks from the Jaipur Elephant Festival. On the way up we stopped at the Hindu temple. Sri Yagat Siromaniji that had very beautiful stonework, elephants, horses and many representations of goddesses. We stopped just before the fort and walked through the moon gate. At the top of the moon gate two musicians played a large drum and a kind of trumpet. The elephants take the winding path leading up to the sun gate, so named because it faces the east. Jaleb Chok. This was the place where armies would hold victory parades with their war bounty on their return from battles. Shiva 
Sheila Devi Temple. Divan Iam or Hall of Public Audiences. Here the Raja would conduct the businesses of court. The Ganesh Pole, the most striking gateway, is dedicated to the Hindu elephant-headed god Ganesh. The gate is covered with delicate frescoes and mosaics and set with finely carved lattice screens. From behind the privacy of these screens, the royal ladies could watch the ceremonial functions in the courtyard below. Satais Kacheri, colonnade of 27 pillars. The Shish Mahal has walls and ceilings entirely covered with inlay works of mirrors and colored glass. The flame of a single candle reflected in the tiny mirrors embedded in the Shish Mahal ceilings transforms it into a starlit sky. The Amber Fort is a remarkable blend of different cultures into one magnificent architectural style, with contributions from the Rajputs Hindu and the Mughals Muslim. Arambagh or Pleasure Gardens. Jaikar Fort The Baradari is a colonnaded pavilion where the king would mingle with the ladies of court. Behind this were the 12 rooms of the 12 wives of the Maharaja. There are many secret passages here so that the Maharaja could go to a favorite woman, without making another jealous. Another snake charmer was on the way down. The cobra barely moved. Jal Mahal, also called the Water Palace, appears to float in the middle of Mansagar Lake. It is close to visitors, so you can only admire it from the shore. Luckily, today was the International Kite Festival Jaipur, so the whole quay was full of Indians with kites. You are supposed to fly them against each other, and whoever keeps flying wins. On the podium was a very old man that could fly 100 kites in a line. Babu Kha, eminent kite flyer with some of our foreign tourists here on the stage. All tourists were placed on the podium and he made an attempt to fly with one kite, but failed. There were cultural performances, such as dance groups, orchestras. <laughs> A marionette player and a dance group with peacock feathers. The full recording can be seen in a YouTube special, Jaipur Cultural Dances. The beautiful honeycombed facade of the Hava Mahal is probably the most photographed building in Jaipur. It served the purpose of letting the royal ladies observe everyday life in the street below without being seen.
the Jantar Mantar Observatory is a collection of 19 stone astronomical instruments for measuring time, predicting eclipses and tracking location of major stars and the sun and the moon. The world's largest sundial. Large stone steps and pointer indicate exactly what time it is or what day. An oblique slope indicates where the North Star is. At the city's heart, the city palace continues to house the Jaipur royal family. Ganesh Kangajalis, the Ganges water urns. Chandra Mahal. Pritam Niwas Chok is the inner courtyard with four small gates representing the four seasons and the Hindu gods. They are decorated with peacock motifs and even some 3D versions. Here, a guard showed us how a turban was put together. It was 8 meters long. We have been to the crafts demonstration area. There Mukesh showed how we made very small detailed paintings. Old paper, new painting. We make this one. In the painting use the color are natural like this. The stone flower. These are from indigo. These are different leaves collect. If you put a little water on the stone, you can color. Sometimes mix the two colors, make a new like this. New shape. For white color, I use like this. My mix one. After the grind, mix gum arabic from acacia tree. For the miniature work, I use this single hair, which is made of squirrel tail. Next week, we'll show you more of the Emperor Fort. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with us! us.